Hey folks, this is Rainer here from Trading with Rainer. So welcome to my weekly forex analysis for the 17th of August. Okay, I hope you guys are you know enjoying your weekends. And for those traders who have been following me for a while, I would like to say thank you. And for new traders who, who are you know it's first time reading reading or encountering my forex analysis, I would like to you know say thank you as well. You know, and I hope whatever information that I provided today or on a weekly basis will actually be beneficial and useful to you guys out there. So this week forex analysis will be a little different because the reason being now is actually towards the mid of August and usually from the mid of August till early September, right? Is where it's a very loud period, right? B basically from July to end August is a summer holiday, so most Europeans are actually having their summer holidays and traders are actually off the desk. So it will become only more prominent to in the last two weeks of August where most traders are really off their desk. So you can actually expect very small range price movement in the coming two weeks. So during these two weeks, you won't expect to see large movements, but rather small scattered movement, sort of like consolidating kind of feel over the next two weeks. So for swing trade and position trade, most likely your trades will not be moving much and it probably is best to stay off the markets during the last two weeks because of the fact that it is low in liquidity and it's very prone to manipulation. So the next two weeks, all right, you can expect very little, vo very little liquidity, little movement and thus I will not be going through any swing trading opportunities because it's definitely not wise to be swing trading during this two period. But nonetheless, for those traders who like to, you know, scalp or go to the smaller time frame, there could still be opportunities because price still has to hit their, you know, their range for the day. So, you know, there are still opportunities, for example, like this week, I'd like to go through with you a couple of setups that actually caught my attention. It wasn't a swing trade, but rather it was a 15 minutes time frame, right? I like the 15 minutes time frame because it's sort of like a day trade kind of thing and the trade would usually, you know, be closed by the end of the day or the next day. So this is actually one setup that caught my attention and I'd like to highlight, highlight to, use guy, to you guys. It's actually the Euro Yen, right? And you can see over here, we have resistance here and resistance here all right so how did this setup trigger all right this setup trigger all right because of this bearish pin bar down here you may have took this one here and got stopped out okay, wait, let me draw some arrows to highlight what i'm saying you may have took this pin bar here and got stopped out however if you took the following one which is this one all right you'll see that you have a really, a really nice risk reward ratio for this trade, alright? So if you had took the sec the first one and got stopped out, the second one you've entered at a close, alright? And you look to take profits at the support level, which is here. Alright, so it's easily a one to one to four risk reward and cover up your initial loss. So this was a trade that actually caught my attention this week. Another trade that I would like to highlight is actually the Euro Canadian. Alright? Another Euro trade. So let's look at it. Again, we have resistance here. Another resistance here. Alright, it's only at this resistance there was a setup here, alright? So if you see if you guys can actually spot it, right? Basically what we have the first candle was a bullish candle. However, the subsequent candle it shows that it was a bearish candle, means the bulls has actually lost control and the bears has taken over. So it was actually a small candle. So possibly the bulls and bears are was really really fighting really aggressively. Thus the candle is actually very small because not much not much leeway has been given in that price action right because it's not like as though it's a big massive down down rate bar but rather it's just a small one it means the bull and bear are still actually fighting very aggressively but the bears apparently won because you can see it was a down candle and the third candle was actually a signal candle was a pin bar you can see that the bull the bulls tried to regain traction clear out high of the last few candles before closing down much lower all right all right so it shows that this area has a lot of selling a uh, sellers in this zone so one way you can go short is at a go short at the close and maybe one or two pips above the swing above the candle high and again it's easily a one to five risk reward. Right? I'll look to take profits at the at the support level, which was here, right? Or here. Right? So either way, wherever you take profit, you'll be a massive risk reward for this trade as well. However, one thing to note is that this pair or the Euro yen actually is not a trending pair, so it is actually wise to take profit at a support resistance level because there's no point in trying to run, let this trade run as much as possible because nowadays the market, the team is whenever it goes one direction, chances are it will retrace back and go into the other direction. So if you do not take profits now, chances are the market will actually retrace back and go back and hit your stop loss. So nowadays the team of the market is actually, if you can enter a trade setup 
take profit at the obvious support resistance, resistance level because once the market retrace, right, most of your profits would most probably be wiped out. So I would suggest actually taking profits at SNR levels, all right? So actually, these are the two setups that actually caught my attention this week, all right? So uh, like I said, there will be no swing trading potential opportunities the following week, so I will not be going through any of those charts. However, there is one thing that I would like to go through with you, which is actually my new website. So let's look at it. Alright, this is my site and as you can see, you know, trading with Raider, blah, blah, blah. Alright, so let me navigate with you how to use this site. Alright, as you can see, this is the home page. Alright, nothing to mention besides the three widgets below here. So what we have here is that Chart Talk is the first one we talk. So let's talk about Chart Talk. So Chart Talk is basically a page where I dedicate to all the charts that I'm currently looking at. So it could be potential setup opportunities. That's one. Alright, or possibly it could be a setup that I've just entered. That's two. Alright, so these two things are the things that you guys should be looking out for, right? Either potential setups that is coming up or a setup that I just executed, right? So for example, you look at this, the 14th of August. So we can see that this is a setup that was executed, right? And I had a loss on this trade as well, right? I was stopped out here, right? This shows so for you guys who are actually fast enough, you may actually have a chance to catch up, to catch the setup that I just took. And this will be the silver setup I'm actually looking at, right? I look to buy at 2050, my stops below here. So this is how you guys should use chart talk, right? So basically to look at any setups I've just entered or any potential setups. As for Forex analysis, again, it's not much to say as you know, I've been repeating for a few weeks right now. So basically identifying swing trading setups on the H4 and provide opportunities for you traders to actually take advantage of it. So this is actually out every once a week and it would be delivered into your mailbox. As for trading videos, you know, it's uh, just literally what it means, trading videos. So it's just some videos that I find may be useful for you guys. I find that the Harmonix series is actually quite, it's quite a good series if you guys are interested in Harmonix because people are actually paying thousands of dollars just to learn Harmonix. So I actually provided out this information out here for free. So, you know, I don't think I'll get sued or anything, but really, you know, there are others paying thousands, thousands of dollars where you guys can actually access to all this information free of charge. I teach you how to draw how to get your stops and exit. So to me, I think it's really priceless. And for those who are interested, definitely go have a look at Harmonix. And Candlestick also is one of my favorite. Confluence is definitely important in trading. So see everything in my trading videos because I did put in effort and I believe you guys would get something out of it. All right, and trading articles. Here in trading articles, what I hope to achieve is actually providing some insight into the world of Forex trading. For example, you know, understanding the different sessions because I find that not many people talk about the different sessions of the Forex market. So, you know, these articles actually, uh, I try to make it a little unique in the sense that you can't really find this information elsewhere, right? It's like either information that people don't want you to know or information that nobody talks about. So my, my trading articles are usually information that are hard to get elsewhere because I don't simply copy elsewhere, but rather I sit down use my creative juices and experience and write these articles out. So I, w I believe they will definitely benefit you in the long run. And about me, it's needless to say, it's about me, you know, trading, blah, blah, blah. If you have a question, you can actually just drop me a question here. I entertain all sorts of questions. Your dog loves trading, your dogs hate trading, whatever. Just, you know, you can just hit me up with a question and I'll reply you within 24 hours. All right. And actually, I suggest that you guys could actually sign up with me. So whenever I have, uh, you know, come up with a new update i will actually inform you guys for example every time my forex analysis is out you can be sure that i actually email you guys about it all right i try not to email you guys about trading articles you know because sometimes i may just churn out too many articles and you guys may find that it's spam so usually the more the, the more important one that i feel is actually the forex analysis which you guys shouldn't miss so i will actually send it to your mailbox so you know well while you guys are after watching the forex analysis you can always go to trading articles and just check out if there's any new articles out there eh, or any trading videos that i've put out all right so for you guys that don't want to miss you can actually subscribe to me on youtube over here and last but not least sometimes i do some intraday trade like the 15 minutes time frame and i don't want to put it on chat talk because sometimes it's just so fast where by the time i publish it the move could actually be over already so what i suggest is actually you guys come and um, come to my page like trading with Rainer actually so after that you have a subscribe I mean you have a feed which shows that you actually like this page before so whenever there's a new feed you'll be notified so actually down there is where I'll put I'll post some intraday setups and keep you guys abreast on what's going on all right so nonetheless I hope you guys really enjoyed my website because I did put in quite a bit of money and effort in it you know truth be told the previous layout I spent like six hundred dollars on it and the designer did such a crappy job that I couldn't take it anymore so 
what I did was I tell to you know get lost I'll redo it myself so I study WordPress learn how to develop a website and yep I'm glad it got it up and running so you know I don't charge you guys a fee I don't have any advertisement I don't sell any products so whatever I do is just out of my own passion to share my knowledge on forex my knowledge on forex and yep all I just hope is that you guys find it find it useful and if you can appreciate you know just maybe just like me on Facebook and you know and just I just hope you guys appreciate it because whatever I do here is nothing to sell and it's all through my own passion and sharing so with that I hope you guys enjoyed it and I would say this will be yep and that's that'll be it alright so I hope you guys enjoy your weekend and good luck and good trading you know if there's anything just ask me a question or email me alright and take care see ya